Do you know when the earliest humans lived on the earth we live in? Did you know that they have superb handmade shoe technology? Did you know that humans used iron nails as early as 60 million years ago? Do you know that the ancient Chinese book, Supplementary Notes, records the discovery of aliens by the ancients? This commentary will tell you about these real anecdotes one by one. Welcome to subscribe, so as not to miss the wonderful video. Without further ado, let's start now. In 1817, two archaeologists Henry R. Schoolcraft and Thomas H. Benton set foot on the banks of the Mississippi River in St. Louis, Maida. There, they made an astonishing discovery. Two human-like footprints appeared on a limestone slab near the river bank, which was 270 million years old. These two footprints are about 26 centimeters long, with scattered toes and flat soles, which are very similar to the footprints of humans who have long been accustomed to walking without shoes. From the footprints, it can be seen that this person has strong and natural footprints. Various signs indicate that the footprints were stepped on when the rock was very soft. If walking upright is used as a sign of human appearance, then ancient humans appeared about 5 to 4 million years ago. But the discovery of this footprint tells us that as early as 270 million years ago, people set foot on the earth. What's going on? Could it be that someone accidentally fell into the space-time tunnel and returned to the ancient times without companions? Or did alien civilizations come to Earth long before humans appeared? Is the appearance of prehistoric footprints just a coincidence? The answer is no. In 1927, an American amateur geologist discovered a fossil with shoe prints in a canyon in Nevada, USA. This fossil is caused by the soil brought up by the heel of the shoe when it left the ground, and the shoe print is well preserved. After research, it was found that the age of this fossil can be traced back to the Triassic period more than 200 million years ago. Although this shoe print was a sensation at the time, no one came up with the results. Until recently, Scientists have released a jaw-dropping news. When scientists recreated this relic with microphotography, they found that the leather of the heel was stitched by double threads. With the distance between the two threads about one centimeter, extending in parallel, and such shoemaking technology did not appear until 1927. At that time, the honorary curator of the Oakland Museum of Archaeology in California, USA, concluded on this fossil. Humans today cannot sew such shoes. Before the apes were civilized hundreds of millions of years ago, there were highly intelligent people on the earth. The same thing happened in China. A fossil expert discovered strange fossils resembling human shoe prints in Hongshan, Xinjiang. These fossils are about 270 million years old. The total length of the shoe print is 26 centimeters, wide at the front and narrow at the back, and has double stitching. The left side of the shoe print is clearer than the right, with a shallow middle and two ends deep nine in shape, which resembles a human left shoe print. In the United States, there is a similar example. In 1938, Dr. Burroughs, director of the Department of Geology at Burley College in Kentucky, USA, announced that he had found 10 footprints in the Carboniferous Sandstone that were identical to modern human footprints. 
Photomicrographs and infrared photos prove that these footprints are formed naturally by the pressure of human feet, rather than artificial carvings. The truth is much more than that. An American amateur fossil enthusiast found several trilobite fossils in a Cambrian sedimentary rock, among which a shoe print of an adult and a child were found on the fossil of a trilobite. The shoe print is about 26 cm long, and the heel is slightly darker than the sole print, just like a modern shoe print. It was identified by a famous chemist at the University of Utah that it was indeed a human shoe print. The discoverer said in surprise, When I gently knocked open a piece of stone with a geological hammer, the piece of stone opened like a book. I was surprised to find that there was a human footprint on one of them, and a trilobite in the center. There are also almost complete footprints on the piece. And what is even more surprising is that those people are wearing leather shoes. Could it be said that in the prehistoric era 300 million years ago, intelligent creatures have set foot on the earth? Do you think it is far away? Are aliens really visiting Earth? This is the end of today's show. Friends who like it, remember to subscribe and favorite, so as not to miss the wonderful show. See you next time.